Morning, we're down here at Hunter Gather Cook. First things first, we're gonna get some breakfast on the go. We've got some huevos rancheros. But before that, we make some proper coffee and I'll show you a nice little campfire trick to make perfect filter coffee. Basically, the way this coffee trick works is, first of all, plenty of, plenty of the good stuff. Don't want to use any instant coffee. Put, put a fair amount in there. Take your hot water, put it in there. Then we're going to stick this back over the fire just to roast a little bit. So, the way in which this flick trick works is the action of the cold water hitting the boiling water on the top basically just makes all the grounds just sink to the bottom. No idea why, but it works. Most of the time. Gently pour it out and you should see as it goes over the lip, nice clear coffee. No grounds. So there you have the flick trick. Perfect filtered campfire coffee without the need for a filter. So after a good injection of caffeine, we're on to the first stage of breakfast. We're gonna make a burnt ash salsa or salsa negra. We've got some peppers, we've got some tomatoes, some onions, garlic, chilies. Basically, we're just gonna take all of this. This is gonna go in the fire. I'm gonna just gonna sweep aside some embers and we're just gonna let those roast off on there. Really nice, smoky finish to it. Uh, but we also need some wild ingredients. I'm gonna introduce you to Dave. Dave uh, is a forager here and works in the oh, kitchen. Yeah. Uh, Dave, if you'd like to go down to the lake, grab some three-cornered leaf. So this is three-cornered leek or Allium trichaerum. You can see here the main identifier is its triangular shape. We're just going to pick a few of these um, and head, head back and mix these into the salsa. It'll be awesome. Oh, thank you very much. So we've got our three corner leek, we've got our fire roasted veg. We're just going to start processing this all, get it in the bowl. The so first thing first, got our three corner leek. This is quite sort of sweet garlicky flavour to it. It's not too punchy, it's not too overpowering like wild garlic. This is quite nice, it's a nice wild flavour to get in there. We're going to chop all these up nice and finely. Some people might think it's a bit weird leaving all this kind of burnt ash on it, but that's kind of what gives it its flavour, so you want to get as much of that into it as possible. So there's our burnt ash salsa or salsa negra. Next thing to do is some guacamole, really fresh, simple. We're just gonna do avocado, limes, salt. That's it. So now we're gonna get the venison chili finished off. This is something um, that Dougie put together last night. I just sweated off some onions and peppers, added in some minced venison, kidney beans, a bit of spice, and then we've just cooked it long and slow and we're just reheating it, ready to go. So uh, this is Dougie, Dougie. Morning. <laughs> so Dougie's going to uh, talk you through how we're going to construct our huevos pancheros. Right. Just going to get some fresh coriander chopped in. There's a bit of garnish for the dish. Helps bring everything together. Stalks and leaves in. Stalks are good flavouring coriander. That'll be enough for us. The tray's probably about hot enough to crack some eggs on. And we'll just put a little bit of salt over them and pop them back in there. Okay, so the, the eggs are ready now. Um, got nice soft yolks still. It's been tray baked in there. A little bit of smoky flavour will probably come across. And so Nick's just stirring up the chilli. Here's, uh, here's your chilli. Excellent. Bella. We've got our wraps and just plonk a bit of that down the middle. Oh, then we've got guacamole that Nick made a little bit earlier. 
And then we've got the uh, Burnt Ash Salsa with the three-cornered leek that Dave got for us earlier. Nice portion of that in there. Let's see if I can get these eggs off. Beautiful. And then just finish with a little bit of coriander over the top. And Dave, breakfast ready. Final flourish. Sweet. The best thing about this dish is that you can see it's all been, you know, we're, we're cooking outside over fire. We've got our fire pit here, we've got a clay oven. And that's the thing, we've also taken wild ingredients and, and including it in this dish. I mean, this is quite a sort of well-known dish, but we're just kind of doing it outside, in a different place, beautiful day, smoke everywhere. I think it's time to eat. Mm. Thank you very much for watching our video. If you would like to subscribe to the Hunter Gather Cook channel, please click here and we'll see you next time. Doe, doe is a lady deer. Uh, I know that because there's a little bit more meat around the back end. Um, and if you look at this one, this has been shot straight through the heart. If you look in here, you can see the smaller hole, which 